28 meets are a section 1 that you may know that there is judgment. Rabbi Abel begins by reminding us that it is only those who study the Torah and abide by all her ways that are protected by guardian angels and have the Sheshan arrest on them. He says that the sword and be afraid of the sword is the evil tongue of the serpent. God has a sword with which he punishes the wicked and anyone who speaks with the evil tongue will be punished with it. Rabbi Lazar says that people do. Not try to understand God's will even though the supernal announcer speaks to them every day. One and Hashem spoke to Moses saying this shall be the Torah of the leper in the day of his cleansing. Bayi 141 to 2 Rabbi Abba opened the discussion with the verse be afraid of the sword for wrath brings the punishments of the sword that you may know that there is judgment. Had Shad on Eov 1929 it is pronounced Shad on but spelled Shad in let demons observe in how many ways people should guard. Their way fear the Holy One blessed be he and not depart from the right way and people should neither transgress the laws of the Torah nor ever leave her to he who does not learn the Torah and does not strive by her is scorned by the Holy One blessed be he the Sheshana does not rest upon him and the guardian angels who accompany him to protect him depart from him moreover they stand before him proclaiming withdraw from this man for he does not honor his master woe to him for he is abandoned by the upper and lower beings and has no part in the way of the living three when man makes an effort in serving his master and learns the Torah many guards are there to protect him the Sheshana also rests upon him and everyone proclaims honor the image of the king honor the son of the king he is protected in this world and the world to come blessed be he for come and behold the evil tongue of the serpent with which he spoke to the woman brought death upon the man the woman and the whole world thus it is written and their tongue is sharp sword Tehillim 575 referring to the evil tongue therefore be afraid of the sword namely the evil tongue what does the following verse mean for wrath brings the punishments of the sword this is the sword of Hashem for as we learn the holy one blessed be he has a sword with which he punishes the wicked as it is written the sword of Hashem is filled with blood Yeshayah 346 it is also written my sword shall devour flesh Devarim 3242 for this is the aspect of judgment within Malchut therefore be afraid of the sword for wrath brings the punishments of the sword that you may know that there is judgment which means that you know it has been so decreed and that anyone who has a sword in his tongue namely he who speaks with the evil tongue is punished with the sword that destroys all for this is Malchut from the side of judgment this is the meaning of this shall be the Torah of the leper that is Malchut from the aspect of judgment which is called this judges the leper for his evil tongue because plagues come from the evil tongue. 5 Rabbi Lazar cited the verse like the birds that are caught in the snare so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. Kahilat 912 Although we have already learned this verse come and behold people are not aware of their master's desire and do not listen to it nor do they look to it. The supernal announcer goes before them every day to awaken them but no one is there to listen to him and no one awakens his spirit to worship his master. Section 2 When night comes we read about what happens when night falls and people go to sleep and are told that at midnight God goes into the garden of Eden to walk with the righteous. Those who are awake study the Torah and praise God until morning at which time the angels all praise him and loving kindness is drawn to the congregation of Israel. Anyone who does not wake up to worship God will Come to judgment in the end 6, when the night falls and the gates are closed, the chasm in the great abyss is opened and many battalions of demons present in the world and the Holy One blessed be he cast sleep upon all human beings in the world and cast sleep even upon those who are awake namely the righteous and the spirits go around the world and inform people of different matters in their dreams part of which is false and part of which is truth people are thus linked with them in their sleep 7 when the north wind is awakened at midnight a flame comes out and slaps the rooster's wings and it cries then the Holy One blessed be he comes into the garden of Eden to delight himself with the righteous and announcer comes out and proclaims and all people awaken in their beds those who are awake stand by their beds to worship their master they learn Torah and praise the Holy One blessed be he until the morning comes 8 when the morning comes all the battalions of angels above. Praise the Holy One, blessed be he, as it is written, when the morning stars sang together, Eo 387, many gates are then opened on all sides, and the gate of Abraham, the secret of Chesed, is opened to the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, and invites all the people of the world to enjoy the Chesedim, as it is written, and Abraham planted a tamarisk in Beersheba, Beersheba 2133, Malchut is called Beersheba, and Abraham planted a tree of Chesed, there nine, how will a man who does not wake up to worship his master come before the king, when judgment is brought against him, he will be fettered in chains, meaning that he will be imprisoned and brought to trial, and no merit will be there to save him, and he will be like the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, Kahilat 912, thus before man departs from this world, both the body and the soul suffer many chastisements before they are separated from each other, and no one is there to care about it. Section 3 The punishments of the soul and body Rabbi Lazar says that when the time comes for the soul to leave the body it sees the Sheshana and goes toward her with joy but if the person was not righteous the Sheshana leaves the soul to mourn separated from its body and from the Sheshana afterwards both soul and body are punished and then purified 10 when the time comes when the soul must depart from the body the soul does not leave the body until the Sheshana shows herself to it then it goes out from the body in joy and love of the Sheshana to meet her if a man is righteous he cleaves and bonds himself to her if not the Sheshana departs from him and his soul is left behind mourning over its separation from the body it is similar to what is said about the cat which will not be driven away from the fire sharpen your knife and it shall follow you for it will think that you are going to cut meat and so it will be driven away from the fire thus the soul does not Want to separate from the body, but when the Sheshana shows herself to it, it leaves the body. Eleven afterwards, both the soul and the body are punished by the hand of the angel. Tuma, the body is sentenced to the grave until it returns to dust, and the soul is sentenced to the fire of Gehenna. In several trials, until its time comes to be punished. After being punished, the time comes for it to be purified. The soul comes out of Gehenna and is cleansed of its sins like an iron whitened in the fire. Angels ascend with it until it arrives at the lower garden of Eden, where it is cleansed in the water and perfumed with its spices, as written, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense. Sure, Hashirim 36. It stays there until that time is over, when it must be far from the righteous in the upper garden of Eden. Twelve. When the time comes for it to ascend to the upper garden of Eden, it ascends stage after stage until it is brought as a sacrifice on the altar, meaning it is brought to the of Malchut. Which is called an altar. This is the meaning of this shall be the Torah of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought to the priest. Vayikra 142, namely the supernal priest above, who is the angel Michael. This is the fate of a soul that has not been defiled much in this world and that can still be healed, as it is said above. Otherwise, that which I ask crooked cannot be made straight. Kahilat 115, 13. This shall be the Torah of the leper. Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion with the verse. The sun also rises and the sun also goes down. Kahilat 15. We have learned this verse and explained that it speaks of the soul of a man when the soul is with man. Then the sun also rises. However, the sun goes down refers to the time when he departs from the world. If he is in a state of repentance, then it hastens to its place where it rises again. But if he is righteous, it is written, and when the sun goes down, he shall be clean. Vayikra 227, meaning that when the sun goes down, he Departs from this world, he is pure, and he shall afterwards eat of the holy things of it. Section 4 He who speaks with an evil tongue, Rabbi Yitzhak says that God pardons everything except an evil tongue. One who speaks evil, intending to defile another, is defiled himself because of the sins of Israel. The other side was awakened in Jerusalem, and it was abandoned by God. Rabbi Yehuda says that the word Mitzara meaning leper includes the words Matziara meaning speaks evil. And we learn that the prayers of one who speaks evil never come before God until he repents, then he will be cleansed. 14 Come and behold, the Holy One, blessed be he grants pardons for all the sins of the world. Save the evil tongue, for this man speaks evil of another, as written, This shall be the Torah of the leper. Have Mitzara Vayikra 142 that is he speaks evil of his friend, since Mitzara is spelled with the same letters as the words Moziari lit spreads evil. Rabbi said if. Someone spreads an evil name, all his limbs
Repents then in the day of his cleansing he shall be brought to the priest and the priest shall look give it two to three seventeen then shall the priest command to take for him to be cleansed two live clean birds vayikra one hundred and forty four Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Yossi were staying with Rabbi Shimon one day he said to them it is known that a cedar tree I asked for it is written from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon I may lashim five hundred and thirteen that cedar which is Tiferet can strike roots only in Lebanon which is by and we have already learned this but what is the point of the hyssop that comes out of the wall of its section five two clean live birds Rabbi Shimon says that when a man comes with repentance to be purified God and the Shechin are returned to him eighteen he opened the discussion saying then shall the priest command to take for him to be cleansed two clean live birds and cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop vayikra one hundred and forty four come and behold when a man worships his master and studies it. Torah the Holy One blessed be he rests upon him and the Sheshana joins with him when a man is defiled the Sheshana departs from him and the Holy One blessed be he draws away from him all the sides of his master's holiness draw away from him and the defiled spirit rests upon him as do all the sides of impurity when a man comes to purify himself he is assisted then after he was purified and after repenting all that departed from him namely the Holy One blessed be he and his Sheshana return to him and rest upon him nineteen come and behold it is written then shall the priest command to take for him to be cleansed two clean live birds he asks do I not know that when it says two birds it means that they are live why is live written he answers it was already explained that live means actually living is written I beheld the living creatures Yeshua 115 which corresponds to the place from which the true prophets draw inspiration namely Netzach and had called lower living Creatures in regards to a cedar wood we have already learned that this is Tiferet and Scarlet is the red side of the Bureau of the Sheshana which associated with him at first Hisop is a small bob which is Yezid that gives sustenance to the congregation of Yisrael the Sheshana therefore cedar wood and Hisop which are Tiferet and Yezid go together meaning that they are considered as one therefore Bob and Bob are together as one when it is uttered in the name Yudhi Bob since Bob is pronounced Bob one is above namely Tiferet and the other is smaller namely Yezid and they are called the upper Bob and the lower Bob all of them the Holy One blessed be he who is Tiferet and Yezid and the Sheshana return and rest upon him as before for he is purified corresponding to those that return to him which are Tiferet and Yezid and the Sheshana are cedar wood and Hisop and Scarlet below which pertain to that purification which come down from the Sfirat above. Section 6 And happy are those who hold her fast. From Rabbi Yehuda we learned that the Torah is a tree of life. Torah means showing, it reveals all that is hidden and unknown. Those people who help support students of the Torah with their money are blessed. Those who hold on to the Torah are worthy of having prophets as their descendants. 20 Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yitzhak were once on their way together. They stopped at a certain field to pray and then continued along. Rabbi Yehuda commenced a discourse on the Torah and said, She is a tree of life to those who lay hold on her. And happy are those who hold her fast. Mishlei 318 A tree of life is the Torah, which is a great and mighty tree. It is called Torah. It shows for it shows and reveals all that was hidden and unknown. It is called life for all life above is contained in it and issues from it. Those who lay hold on her are those who are attached to her above and below. Happy are those who hold her fast are. Those who throw their fill their profit of merchandise into the purses of students of the Torah and they become worthy of a part in their profit as explained 21 those who hold her fast means that they become worthy of producing children worthy of being faithful prophets for the Torah alludes to Tiferet which is the body of Zeir and Benetzach and Had which are the secret of the prophets are like the legs who hold the Tiferet the Torah as the legs hold the body therefore those who hold it. Torah are worthy of having prophets as descendants happy had Meusher should be pronounced Merosho meaning literally from his head having the same letters as Meusher for Netzach and Had support the Torah which is Zeir and Ben from the top all the way down like the legs support the body from the top all the way down the meaning of from his head is the head of all called head as it is written I was set up from everlasting from the beginning had Merosh Mishlei 823 this beginning lit. Head is Chakma for it is the head of the whole body which is Tiferet and the body spreads in it to the end of the six directions, which are Chisit, Vira, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot and Yezid. Those who hold her fast are as written his legs are pillars of marble. Sure Hashirim 515 which are Netzach and Hot. Those who put their sales profits into the pockets of students of the Torah become pillars of the Torah from its head to the body's end which is Yezid. All the faith which is Malchut depends on the body which is the Torah and it is supported and merits sons who are fit to be faithful prophets. Section 7 The best man of the king and the best man of the queen. Rabbi Shimon explains to Rabbi Yitzhak that Moses is greater than Aaron because Moses is the king's best man and Aaron is the queen's best man. Aaron's duty as high priest is to bring Malchut to perfection. Rabbi Yehuda says that God draws the wicked toward him so they will repent if they do not eat. Destroys them even from the world to come, and yet if they want to be purified, they are helped and brought to peace. Twenty-two. Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion with the verse, and Hashem called to Moses and spoke to him out of the tent of meeting, saying, "Vayikra eleven." He asks, "Why is the word called Hevayikra spelled with a small alaf?" He answers, "The one who abides in the sanctuary, which is Malchut, is the one who called Moses and invited Moses to appear before her as one invites a guest. Here, it is written with a small alaf. And in another verse, Adam Seth and Ashdod Rehem eleven is written a big one for a big alaf is Bina, which is the perfection of all small letters are in Malchut, and the big ones are in Bina. Twenty-three. Come and behold, there is a difference between Moses and Aaron. Which one is superior? He answers, "Moses is greater, for Moses is the king's best man, and Aaron is the queen's best man. This is like a king who gave his exalted queen the best man to attend to her and her house." So. That the companion would never appear before the king without the queen, thus it is written about Aaron, thus lit with this head, shall Aaron come into the holy place. Vayikra 163, that is with Malchut called Zot as her best man. 24 Moses was the best man of the king, therefore he was invited to Malchut as a guest, which is the secret of the small aleph in the word Vayikra lit called. Then Hashem spoke to him, Aaron was the best man of the queen, namely Malchut, and all his discourse was for the purpose of the king making pleasing to the queen, so that the king would be pleased with her. Aaron, who is the best man of the queen, made a dwelling with her to attend to her house. He was perfected for this after the supernal model as Jesus of Zeir and, and was called the high priest. Once do we know that it is written, You shall be a priest forever after the manner of Melchizedek. Tehillim 1104, meaning that a priest forever is Jesus, and his duty is to bring Malchut, which is called. Melchizedek to perfection 25 therefore he took everything he needed from the residence of the king and he had to purify all those coming to the house of the queen so that there would be none who were unclean among those who entered the sanctuary hence it is written and shall the priest command to take for him to be cleansed two clean live birds vayikra 144 26 rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse he who sits in the heavens laughs hashem has them in derision tehillim 24 he who sits in the heavens laughs is isaac let he will laugh who comes from the side of wine that first smiles and laughs and then rages and bewilders hence it says who sits in the heavens and it is not written who sits in heaven for heaven is zeir and which includes jesus bureau typhoret net sash hot and yes it were it written who sits in heaven i would say it is zeir and but it is written he who sits in the heavens that is in one side of the heaven which is bureau and it Attribute of Isaac Isaac laughs that Isaac laughs and illuminates and therefore the judgment illuminates and laughs upon the wicked 27 then it is written then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his burning anger Tehillim 25 such is the way for the wicked the Holy One blessed be he at first shines on them and shows them favor as the one sheds light at first and then rages and kills the Holy One blessed be he draws the wicked to him so they will repent if they turn to him all is well if they do not turn to him he destroys them and removes them from the world to come they have no share in it and they are lost to everything if they desire to be purified they are helped the Holy One blessed be he purifies them and brings them close to him and calls peace upon them as written peace peace both for far and near says
and calls upon him to execute judgment and to destroy the heathens it receives permission as written for I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle. Ibn 229 Rabbi Yitzhak said the Holy One blessed be he has two days one that stays with him namely Gvir and one that comes before him namely Malchut and with these he makes war on all when that day Malchut comes to make war it unites with the other day which is Gvir of Zeir and it takes the arms of Gvir of Zeir and and supplements its own arms for the day of Hashem's vote he shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up that he shall be brought low. Yeshayah 212 30 Rabbi Shimon cited the verse and if a woman has an issue of her blood this verse has the same meaning as the following the sword of Hashem is filled with blood. Yeshayah 346 Malchut is called a sword and also a woman for assuredly she is filled with blood that is judgment says written an issue. Of her blood many days not in the time of her menstruation this has the same meaning as the verse therefore Hashem has watched over the evil and brought it upon us Daniel 914 for we have learned that by their sins the wicked cause the Holy One blessed be he to bring punishments to the world before their time and that is the secret of not in the time of her menstruation or if it run beyond the time of her menstruation Vayikra 1525 namely then I will punish him more Vayikra 2618 what is the meaning of punish him more this means I will increase more and more judgments and add blood to blood more than there is in the sword of Hashem is filled with blood that is there are more judgments than there already are in Malchut herself for this is the secret of if it run beyond the time of her menstruation that is more judgments will run beyond those of her menstruation which are her own judgments 31 it is written I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. Bear sheet 821 meaning I will not again add judgments to the sword which is Malchut but only to the extent that the world is able to sustain he asks it is written more meaning that he will supplement judgments to Malchut he answers yet it is written I will punish you more not destroy which means he gives more only to the extent that the world will be able to suffer therefore it is written if it run beyond the time of her menstruation she will have more judgments than she has of her own. 32 all the days of the issue of her uncleanness Vayikra 1525 what are the days of the issue of her uncleanness he answers the wicked pollute both themselves and another place with their sins as it is written because he has defiled the sanctuary of Hashem Bimidbar 1920 an unclean spirit is awakened against them in the time to come the Holy One blessed be he will purify Israel and remove that unclean spirit from the world as written for henceforth there shall no more come into you Uncircumcised and unclean Yeshayah 521 and, and also I will cause the unclean spirit to pass out of the land Zechariah 132 out of the land indeed section 9 in the day of prosperity be joyful Rabbi Lazar says that when a man is prosperous he should show himself in public and give kindness to everyone else and kindness from above rests on him but in times of adversity he should not show himself in case the judgment that is looming everywhere should fall on him. Too many swords hang from the highest sword of judgment and whoever meets them is harmed. 33 Rabbi Shishkiah was studying with Rabbi Lazar one night they rose at midnight to study the Torah and Rabbi Lazar discoursed on the following verse in the day of prosperity be joyful Elohim has made the one as well as the other Kahilat 714 in the day of prosperity be joyful means that when the Holy One blessed be he lavishes kindness on the world a man should go to the marketplace and show himself. Before everyone the chesed of the Holy One blessed be he rests upon all for he shows kindness to everybody and increases it in the world therefore a man should show himself in public and he should do kindness so that another chesed from above will rest upon him as it is written in the day of prosperity be joyful he will indeed be joyful 34 but in the day of adversity consider if it is not written in the day of adversity be sad as it is written in the day of prosperity be joyful. But rather in the day of adversity consider meaning at the time that judgment looms over the world a man should not show himself in the marketplace and should not walk alone when judgment looms over the world it looms over all and whoever meets the destructive angel is sentenced by that judgment as it is written sometimes ruin comes for want of justice Mishlei 1323 this is because justice which is Zeir and departs from righteousness which is Malchut and they do not dwell within one. Another and have no influence on the world therefore it is written consider namely consider and be vigilant and watchful on every side and know that judgment abides everywhere do not show yourself abroad so that judgment shall not rest upon you the reason is that Elohim has made the one as well as the other thus at the time that kindness rests upon the world it rests all over also when judgment looms over the world it looms over all he who chances upon it will be caught 35 come and behold at the time that judgment looms over the world many swords namely litigants are suspended from that highest sword they lift up their heads and see that the highest sword namely the side of judgment of Malchut is red and bloody on all sides that is with judgments then they decree punishments and all sorts of swords are aroused as written every man has his sword upon his thigh sure Hashirim 38 and with his sword drawn in his hands Yahashua 513 all those swords are ready to punish and Whoever meets them is harmed, it is written, Behold, now your servant has found favor in your sight, and you have magnified your mercy which you have shown to me in saving my life. I cannot escape to the mountain. Bear sheet 19, 19. The reason that Elon was afraid to escape to the mountain was that judgment looms over all in towns, deserts, and around the city. Section 10 set me as a seal upon your heart. Rabbi Lazar talks about the Tefilin and their meaning in terms of it. Seal mentioned in the title verse when the Tefilin are placed both on the arm and on the heart, man makes himself perfect. The topic turns to the time of death when it is so hard for the soul to leave the body, it is just as hard for Israel to separate from God. So great is their love for him. We hear that the two lowest grades of Gehenna are Sheol and Ruin. It is said that jealousy is as cruel as Sheol, and this is because it is as hard to escape from Sheol as it is for the jealous person to leave. His beloved, when the congregation of Israel is jealous for God, her flame sets the world on fire. 36 Rabbi Lazar further discussed the verse, Set me as a seal upon your heart. Sure, Hashirim 86, the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, asked the Holy One, Blessed be he to set me as a seal. A seal is the ring seal of truth, as a seal upon your heart is a seal of the Tefilin that a man places on his heart, as a seal upon the arm of it is a dark hand, namely Malchut, which he places on it. Arm, what is it? It is Isaac, the left side of Zeir, and the congregation of Israel says, Set me as a seal, but should say, Set me a seal, and not as a seal. He explains that as a seal means as the head Tefilin called a seal once gained, namely the Mokin comes to the whole body, therefore the Tefilin is placed both on the arm and on the heart, by so doing a man makes himself perfect after the supernal model. 37 For love is strong as death. Sure, Hashirim 86, he asks, What is love is strong? As death he answers there is nothing so hard in the world as the departure of the soul from the body at the time of death when they must separate such is the love of Israel for the Holy One blessed be he that they should never separate therefore the hand Tefilin which is Malchut combines with that on the arm which is the left side of Zeir and, and fulfills that which is written his left hand is under my head Sher Hashirim 2638 jealousy is as cruel as Sheol Sher Hashirim 86 of all. The grades of Gehenom there is no place more harsh than Sheol for it descends down below all the grades except the one called Ruin which is even further below Sheol both of them are combined and they are harder on the wicked than all the others thus jealousy is as cruel as Sheol for jealousy comes only out of love and out of love comes jealousy he who is jealous because of having so little love is like one who is jealous of his wife whoever is extremely jealous of a beloved one finds it. More difficult to depart from him than from the level called Sheol, the harshest and most difficult level in Gehenna 39. The coals thereof are coals of fire which have a most vehement flame, but he asks what does coals of fire mean? He answers this is the fire that issues from the shofar compounded of air and water, meaning the illumination of the chakma that issues from the left side, the secret of the fire of the bana that is called shofar for that fire which is the left side also. Includes two sides, the central side which is called air and the right side which is called water, that flame which burns in the congregation of Israel which is Malchut then sets the world on fire when she is jealous for the Holy One, blessed be he, woe to he who crosses the path of that flame for it will burn them. Section 11 cannot quench love. Rabbi Lazar gives us two interpretations of many waters that cannot quench love. He talks
River which is by the floods are the Sfirat of Zeir and Pen is written the floods have lifted up their voice the floods lift up their roaring Tehillim 933 namely the Sfirat of Zeir and Pen 41 if a man would give all the substance of his house for love Sher Hasherim 87 with which the congregation of Israel love the Holy One blessed be he it would be utterly scorned lit they will scorn him if it he asks it is written that they will scorn him it should have been written he will scorn him what does they mean he explains that if a man would give his the Holy One blessed be he and all the substance of his house is all the illuminations of the Mokin he has is written filled with all precious and pleasant riches Mishlei 244 for love is the love of the congregation of Israel for him which is the love of the right side namely the unrevealed Chesedim yet he will not be united with her namely with the lower Chakma in her by pouring on her not the illumination. Of Chakma, but the unrevealed Chesedim, which are all the substance of his house, then they will scorn him. All those battalions and legions above will scorn those precious and pleasant riches which are Chesedim, for they do not desire them except when the congregation of Israel associate with the Holy One, blessed be he, she is crowned with him, for he spreads Chakma upon her, and that Chakma in her is clothed in his Chesedim, and all the battalions and all the worlds are full of joy. Light and blessings, as it is written, his left hand is under my head, for it is the secret of the illumination of Chakma, and his right hand embraces me. I ask the secret of the unity of Chakma, which Chesedim 42. When a man puts Tephilin on his hand, he should stretch out his left hand on which Chakma is poured to receive the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, he should make a tie with his right hand and embrace her with the Chesedim of the right, so that Chakma will be combined. With Chesedim to fulfill that which is written in the verse, his left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me so as to copy the supernal model and be adorned in everything with both Chakma and Chesedim that man is then whole in everything in the supernal sanctity and the Holy One blessed be he calls him Israel in whom I will be glorified. Yeshua 493 we hear of the seven days of Sukkot and the number 7 and 70 are emphasized as if to 42b it would be utterly. Scorned head Buster Hasherim 87 what is Buzz IT is the initials of Bet equals 2 the second day Bob equals 6 the sixth day and Zayin equals 7 the seventh day of Sukkot the holiday of Booths on which water and wine were poured for water is the secret of Chesedim and wine is the secret of Chakma during the seven days of Sukkot Israel sacrificed 70 bulls to atone for the 70 supernal ministers who are in charge of the 70 nations this is the secret of the illumination of the left bit. Nations have only the illumination of the left and Israel did this in order to prevent the destruction of the world by them hence it is written and on the fifteenth day you shall offer a burnt offering a sacrifice made by fire Bimit bar 2912 to 13 end of this of the section 12 here the right rabbi Shishkiah says that the children of Israel are so beloved by God that whenever Malchut comes before him he is ready to receive her we learn that every word of prayer sends through the firmaments to a place that tests how genuine it is if the prayer is genuine it is brought before God to be fulfilled but if it is not it invokes an alien spirit from the other side Rabbi Lazar says that everyone who studies the Torah at night and then comes to praise God in the morning will be happy 43 Rabbi Shishkiah cited the verse here the right Hashem attend to my cry Tehillim 171 the congregation of Israel is so beloved by the Holy One blessed be he that whenever she Malchut comes before him, he is ready to receive her as written here. The right, O Master, attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer. David said, I am linked with the congregation of Israel being before you as she is therefore here. The right, Hashem first, which is Malchut called righteousness, and afterwards, attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer. 44 from lips without deceit, but he asks, What does that verse mean? He answers, We have learned that every word of prayer that issues from a man's mouth ascends aloft through all the firmaments to a place that tests whether it is genuine or not. If it is genuine, then it is brought before the Holy King to be fulfilled, but if not, he is driven away, and an alien spirit from the other side is evoked by it. 45 come and behold, it is written of Joseph, whose foot they heard with fetters. Tehillim 10,518 they heard his foot with fetters until the time that his word came to pass. The word of Hashem had tested him, but 19 he asks to whose word. Does it refer in that verse until the time that his word came? He answers the words of Joseph's prayer came to heaven and were tested to discover if they were genuine as written the word of Hashem had tested him meaning that his words were tested and purified then the king sent and loosed him and the ruler of the people let him go free but twenty meanwhile morning had arrived forty six Rabbi Lazar cited that verse and said it is written yet the soul nefesh of my master shall be bound in it. Bond of life with Hashem your Elohim Ishmuel 2529 the soul of my master is unspecified and has the same reference as in the verse who has not taken my name nefesh in vain Tehillim 244 meaning the morning is the proper time for the congregation of Israel which is Malchut called nefesh to unite with her husband Zeir and therefore happy are the righteous who study the Torah by night and then come in the morning to unite with the Holy One blessed be and the congregation of Israel of them it is written let your father and your mother be glad and let her who bore you rejoice Mishlei 2325 section 13 there are two spirits we read about the strange spirit and the spirit of defilement that descend to earth whenever men are defiled below Rabbi Lazar talks about when the plague of leprosy is sent to a house and how the house can be purified he tells how a man who wants to defile himself is defiled by bringing upon himself a second spirit of uncleanness he must be destroyed for the world to be purified 47 Rabbi Lazar cited that verse thus shall you separate the children of Israel from their uncleanness when they defile my tabernacle that is among them Vayikra 1531 thus shall you separate means like a stranger who is a stranger to everyone and is not bonded with that which is not his 48 he explains his words come and behold when men are defiled below they are defiled in every respect as we have already learned when they Unclean spirit is roused below by drawing the illumination of the left side from above downwards a strange spirit arises for the unclean spirit below rouses another unclean spirit it obtains permission to go down to the world he asks what kind of permission does it obtain he answers the same permission of holiness that formerly always came down and prevented that strange spirit from ruling the spirit is no longer there because of the unclean spirit for when it leaves the judgment which is it. Strange spirit is revealed and confronts the sinners and augments judgment then there are two harmful spirits in the world one is the spirit of judgment namely the strange spirit and the spirit of defilement 49 Rabbi Lazar said here I must say something that I have learned from my father come and behold see what we learned here in relation to the plague in the house when the unclean spirit rests upon the house and the holy one blessed be he wants to purify that house he sends a plague of Leprosy there in order to make them denounce each other. The spirit of the plague fights that one of the uncle Anes, although the unclean spirit is gone from the house, that plague does not depart from the house after overpowering the spirit of defilement until the house is shattered, stones, timbers, and all only then is the place purified. 50 when a man is defiled and arouses the unclean spirit to rest upon him, and the Holy One blessed be he wants to purify the world, he arouses against him a spirit of stern judgment that remains in the world and rests upon that unclean spirit. They fight each other until he removes the unclean spirit from the world. That spirit of harsh judgment of the plague that it caused to depart from the world does not depart from the place until it is completely shattered, namely the body, the limbs, the bones, and everything only then is the world purified. The unclean spirits are removed and the world is in a state of cleanliness. 51 therefore we have learned. That when a man wants to defile himself, he is indeed defiled for the second spirit of Uncle Anes removes the first one as it is said above. Woe to the man upon whom rests an unclean spirit that dwells with him in the world, for it is well known that the Holy One blessed be he desires to remove it from the world, therefore he defiles him more and said, Happy are the righteous who are holy and appear before the Holy King in their holiness, and upon whom a spirit of holiness rests in this world and in the world to come when the morning came, they went on their way. Section 14 And angels of Elohim met him. Rabbi Lazar says that during the time that Jacob lived with Laban, God did not speak to him until he was about to leave, and angels met and accompanied him on his trip. Both the angels of judgment and angels of mercy combined with him. Jacob is the central column that combines them. Both the angels rescued him from the hands of Esau 52 
With him for Jacob is referred to as the central column which includes within it the left and the right mercy and judgment 54 come and behold at first it is written Elohim's cap Bereshit 323 which is one and afterwards it is written he called the name of that place Maha name two camps of it which is two camps but it was previously explained that one camp was from the side of judgment and one was from the side of mercy there were angels of both the left and right sides for Jacob is the central column and includes both of them therefore it is written met him being the central column and when Jacob saw them had Ram but he asks why is it written Ram as one word which is not usually used it should have been written Ram meaning that he saw them as it is used in Hebrew the reason for this is that he saw the angels of mercy and judgment cleaved together and bonded to each other therefore it is written Ram to instruct that they were combined and all of them came to accompany him and rescue him from the hands of Esau section 15 and the first came out red because Isaac came from the side of stern judgment Esau came out with the red color of the side of judgment Jacob was from the second drop of sperm that was from the side of mercy and included both the right and the left Esau came out from the dross of gold because at the time of Esau's conception Isaac's thoughts had been centered on ending the stern judgment it is important therefore for a man to concentrate his thoughts on the desire of God during the time he made so that his descendants will be holy Isaac's intention at the moment of Jacob's conception was connected with the mighty treasure and in the central column from this point of view Jacob is regarded as the firstborn and Esau not as important we hear that one day the walls of Jerusalem will reach as high as the throne of God and the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun and it Light of the sun will be seven times as bright as it is now fifty five. It is written of Esau, and the first came out red. Bereshit two thousand five hundred and twenty five. And the first, for he is called first. It is not so that Jacob was the first drop of the seed, and Esau was the first to come forth to the world. For it is written, and the first, namely the first at the time of procreation, it is not written first without the definite article. Hey, for then you might say that he is only the first to come forth, and not the first of the seed, because Isaac came from the side of the stern judgment, being of the left side of Zeir, and Esau came out red, namely with the red color of the side of Bereshit. If Jacob was the first in the insemination, that is, if the first drop of sperm was Jacob's, then he would have been red. For the first drop looks red, and Jacob was not red. Thus Jacob was from the second drop of sperm, and he did not come out so red. For that drop of sperm came from the side of mercy, and included the side and that. Side both the right and the left 56 the drop of sperm of Esau was not like that of Jacob for that one was complete and the other was not at the time of the insemination of Esau Isaac's thoughts were centered on ending the stern judgment meaning at the end of the left side where the dross of gold namely the clipot starts for he produced from his own side the left lights imprinted on the limbs of Esau hence Esau was filled namely the dross which was melted out of gold 57 therefore we have learned that at the time of mating a man should meditate on the desire of his master so that his descendants will be holy you might say that Isaac did not meditate on holiness this is not so for he centered his thoughts on holiness and meditate on the end of the place of the left side where the clipot start but which pertains to holiness when the first drop of the sperm came out it was exactly at that point therefore it is written all over like a hairy garment but namely judgments which are called here 58 come and behold of David it is written that he was ruddy for he was created from the beauty of the red color which is the left side of Bana and which illuminates Malchut he was linked with his master's sanctity therefore it is written now he was ruddy with fine eyes and good looking Ishmael 1612 the same cannot be said of Esau for he was created from the dross of gold which begins at the end of the left side as said indeed Jacob was the firstborn before Esau not through the drop of sperm but because the intention during mating was connected with the huge and mighty tree namely Zeir and from the central column Esau came from the directing of desire at the place which is the ending of all namely the place where holiness ends for there the clipot begin from that aspect Jacob is regarded as the firstborn and the first and Esau was smaller than him therefore it is written behold I will make you small among all the nations you are greatly despised Obed 12 59 Rabbi Yehuda taught that Esau is called first as it is written and the first came out read the Holy One blessed be he is called first as it is written I am the first and I am the last Yeshua 446 and with the last I am he Yeshua 414 the first will one day punish the first meaning the Holy One blessed be he will punish Esau and build the temple which is called first as written the glorious throne exalted from the beginning live first Yermeo 1712 of the days to come it is written the harbinger live first to Zion will I give behold behold them and to Jerusalem a messenger of good tidings Yeshua 4127 60 we have learned that one day the walls of Jerusalem will reach on high to the throne of the king as it is written at that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of Hashem Yermeo 317 then the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold Yeshua 3026 for the light of Malchut which is called it Moon will be as the light of Zeir Anpin, which is called the sun, and the light of the sun, which is Zeir Anpin, will be sevenfold more than it is now. Then on that day, Hashem shall be one, and his name one. Zechariah 149. Blessed be Hashem forever and ever. Amen and amen. Hashem will reign forever and ever. Amen and amen. Section 16. Two young tears, Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Yossi hear a voice coming from a cave that speaks about two young tears and says they are the holy camp that Jacob met on his way. The voice then says that those two were Abraham and Isaac. Rabbi Lazar sees his father's image, and it says that the voice is a mouth which speaks great things. Rabbi Shimon also says that the souls of the righteous who are holy angels come to the righteous to save them. Although Isaac was alive when he was about to be sacrificed on the altar, his soul was taken to the throne of God. After which time his eyes were dimmed to Septuagint. 61. Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Yossi. His father-in-law were on their way from Moshe to Lot. Rabbi Yossi asked Rabbi Lazar whether he had heard from his father an explanation of the verse written of Jacob. And Jacob went on his way, and angels of Elohim met him. Bereshit 322. He later replied that he did not know when they arrived at the cave of Lot. They heard a voice that said, Two young tears have pleased me by fulfilling my desire. These are the holy camp that Jacob met on his way. Those words made Rabbi Lazar very excited, and he then said, Master of the universe, such are his ways, for it is better for us not to hear. I hear yet do not comprehend. 62. Then a miracle happened to him, and again he heard the same voice saying to him that those two were Abraham and Isaac. Then he fell to his face, and his father's image appeared before him. He said to him, Father, I have asked about the two tears, and was answered that they were Abraham and Isaac. They met Jacob when he was saved from Laban. He said to him, Son, release that which was cut off and accept your new source it was a mouth which speaks greatly furthermore the souls of the righteous who are holy supernal angels come to all the righteous to save them 63 come and behold Isaac was alive at that time but his holy soul was taken to the throne of his master when he was to be sacrificed on the altar after that his eyes were dim as it is written were it not that fear of Isaac had been with me Bereshit 3142 end of Tisipha.